Back here closer to home, the Joshua Tree Music Festival is coming to a close in the high desert today. News Channel 3's Bianca Ventura has more on how this four day festival creates safe spaces for different community groups. The Joshua Tree Music Festival has been hosting music and art lovers since 2003. Coming in here, the first thing you see is welcome, you belong here in the rainbow. And I feel that that is the atmosphere that we want to promote and inspire that welcoming feeling. Each year, the festival works to create different sites to help people find community and resources. This year, the festival added a sober friendly lounge space along with a queer salon. T. Hamidi, the creator of the Queer Salon, says this hub is aimed at creating a safe space and offering education. And we hang out and find out that it's a parent of a, of a child that just came out. And we start talking about like what's going on and their different ideas. So I really feel like the family support stuff is starting to come together. During the weekend, people were able to attend different sessions throughout the festival grounds. We've got a grief support group this afternoon. Um, those sound like heavy things, but it's all part of LGBT cult culture to acknowledge our feelings. Another site that makes the Joshua Tree Music Festival different from others is their Kidsville. It's been pretty amazing to see such a kid friendly festival. Some parents are bringing their children to a festival for the very first time and have found this one to be a success. Us as festival goers, like we go for music, we go to connect with new people, you know, we do that through talking and the kids are doing that all the time through play and it's been really magical to just watch them find other kids like them. In Joshua Tree, Bianca Ventura, News Channel 3. About 3,000 people attended the four-day festival in Joshua Tree over the weekend.